Hi Pre-K Lab friends. It's another beautiful day outside today. I am so glad I get to spend it with all of you. Wait, what? What do you mean you can't see me? I'm right here. I see you. I see each and every one of you. I can even see Miss Martha. I see the early birds. I see the giraffe class. I don't know what's going on. Oh, there you are. Hi. Can you guess what we're going to talk about today? Yes, if you guessed fairy tales, you are right. But give me one minute. Just like that, I'm back. I was going through my bookshelves at home and I wanted to share with you some of the fairy tales that I found here. I have Peter Pan, Cinderella, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Sleeping Beauty, Little Red Riding Hood, and Jack and the Beanstalk. I have some fairy tale cards here that I'm going to help explain what fairy tales are. So last week we talked about stories having characters and settings, but they also have many more elements. And fairy tales, even though they're all different, have very similar elements. The first thing is they're very old. They were written a long time ago. There are some new fairy tales, but they're told over and over and over, which means that your great grandparents told your grandparents. And then your grandparents read the story to your mom and dad. And then your mom and dad read the story to you and if you're an older brother or sister, you might have told the story to your little baby brother or sister, or your teachers told it to you at school, or Miss Martha and I read it to you, but they're stories that are told over and over. So fairy tales are stories. They also have similar elements like their openings. A lot of times they say once upon a time, or they begin with a long time ago, or in a faraway land, and they also have um, animals a lot of times that talk or are magical. Lots of times there are unicorns, horses that may talk, and they there's lots of make-believe. There are also different characters. Some characters, like the Three Little Pigs, which we've read, Jack and the Beanstalk, Beauty and the Beast, and many more. Going back to the setting, that's where our stories take place. Think about the forest. What stories took place in the forest? We had Hansel and Gretel, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, and Little Red Riding Hood. A castle. Many of our stories took place in a castle. Can you think of some? That's right. Cinderella, Rapunzel, and Sleeping Beauty. Many of our stories have royalty the people from the palace. There's an, sometimes a knight, a brave knight, the king, the ruler of the kingdom, the queen, his wife, and almost always a princess and a prince. Our stories also have good versus evil, so good and bad. And this is the word good. Cinderella was good, she worked so hard. We had Sleeping Beauty, Snow White, and of course our fairies. Our fairies are always changing things into something useful for our characters to use. And then there's Evil. Evil is the bad. The giant, he was so naughty. We have witches who put spells on our characters or change them into animals. And of course well, there's the big bad wolf and many more. The other things that happen is our stories often have a problem. So the problem gets solved and at the very end, they live happily ever after. Many of our stories end that way. I wanted to show you something else I found. It's this. It's my fairy tale prop box. You open the lid and there are items inside from different fairy tales that we've read or that you're familiar with. And then what we usually do is at circle time, we would have you come up and choose something like this. So what I'll do is show it to you, and in Zoom we can raise our hands, but someone can say, oh, I know what that is, and I'm going to ask you what story it's from, and why was it important? What was it used for? 
I might show you something like this and ask the same questions. I might even show you my bag of gold coins and say, tell me what story do you remember this from and why are they important or what were they used for? I might show you a chair or my magic beans. Who remembers why those were important? Let's learn that new song I told you about. It's a silly song about fairy tales. First, I'll read it to you and then I'll sing it. It goes to the tune of Jingle Bells. Once upon a time in a land far away, a girl kissed a frog. Well, that just made his day. Far across the town, Red Riding Hood took fright. She found a wolf in Granny's bed when she told her good night. Fairy tales, fairy tales, read them every day. Oh, what fun it is to hear how Goldilocks got away. Fairy tales, fairy tales, full of joy and laughter. Do you know how this one ends? Why, it's happily ever after. Once upon a time, in a land far away, a girl kissed a frog that just made his day. Far across the town, Red Riding Hood took fright. She found a wolf in Granny's bed when she told her good night. Fairy tales, fairy tales, read them every day. Oh, what fun it is to hear how Goldilocks got away. Fairy tales, fairy tales, full of joy and laughter. Do you know how this one ends? Why, it's happily ever after. See you next time, friends. Bye-bye.